and we are in a very unique place in Alberta and it's called Waterton Lakes National Park. It's unique for a lot of reasons where you can drive for hours and hours to get here on flat land and all of a sudden, boom, you get greeted by mountains. They seem to fling out of nowhere, basically, because it's like flat plains and then boom, you get all of a sudden all these mountains right ahead of you. And there's this gorgeous lake here. And we are going to do a hike today at Crip Lake. We actually don't have to hike all the way to the trailhead. The trailhead is way the hell down there and we're taking one of these boats over here and it's going to be bringing us at the other end of the lake. We'll be able to start right at the trailhead and then from there work our way up. This is our little uh, view here on the marina. Uh, take the ferry to get all the way to the trail and then we start going up and there's uh, two little waterfalls and it's a pretty long trail it's like nine kilometers to get up to the top and then once we get to the top uh, there's a little lake and there's like a big bowl there's also a little tunnel a tunnel with a ladder and you get the cross underneath it's just like a little cave that allows you to go from one side to the next we'll be hopping on in a boat heading out to Waterton Lakes to do Crip Lakes and hopefully this is going to be definitely one of the most interesting hikes of the year, of the year, for sure. Peace out. So we are walking along the trail and we didn't, didn't take any video at the bottom of the trail. There were so many people coming out of the boat that we just wanted to hit the trail early. But it is uh, 9.15 now. We've been walking for a half an hour. We got about two kilometers in and it's pretty much all wooded forest for the first like two kilometers. And then you all hit a series of four switchbacks and then it really kind of opens up a little bit here so once you've passed the four switchbacks there that's around like the two 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 and a half kilometers up then it does kind of level out a bit and there's uh, actually little parts where we're descending here so you're basically just going up the valley but for the most part you're still kind of in this uh, fringe forest Scared the shit out of her. How you like it so far? It's good. It's fun. I'm also glad we chose this later in the season because my legs are in shape. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to do this in March because I think I would have died by now. decided to take the little detour and uh, check out the Hell Roar Falls and it's quite steep so you really want to do this um, from uh, north to south you want to do it coming back not going up because uh, it's quite steep on the way up it'll be a good hike if you do it that way
three and a half kilometers, pretty bang on here, is where a horse tail waterfall at the bottom, and then you have a segment in a horse tail one at the top. It uh, looks a little bit like what you'll find at like Punchbowl Falls. It's pretty, uh, pretty neat and interesting. You get a better view here, but uh, this is as far as I'm gonna go. I have a half kilometer mark. You reach a second set of switchbacks. These houses are a lot smaller, and you got great view in the background here. It kind of opens up. These switchbacks go up probably about half a kilometer, maybe a little bit more, and they're just small. So you got like an incline up to the second ridge to go towards the lake. So these ones, they've kept them short and kind of tests your endurance as well because you're, the trail was kind of nice to us for like a good, what, two kilometers? Where it was pretty, from the three and a half kilometer mark to the five and a half kilometer mark, it's pretty uh, modest, moderate. Not flat, but almost. And behind us here is uh, Vinny Ridge. Whew. That whole thing. And you can see a small set of waterfalls there. There's barely any water coming out of there. And then, this is the second waterfall. Oh, very neat little lookout. This one, as you can tell, it's completely detached. So it's not a uh, horsetail waterfall. At the bottom would be considered a horsetail. But when it's completely separated like that, it's actually a chute. That series of switchbacks at the second waterfall is about 600 meters. It goes up a fair mound here. It's close to 75 meter incline in that one little spurt there. We're not at the top of the valley yet, but we get a nice view here. It opens up. There's still some trees here, but it's not as bad as the area below where you couldn't see anything. So you get this nice little view over here. Gorgeous views in behind us here. That's crazy, eh? Gorgeous valley. Well, looks like we have about just under three kilometers to go here. About two thirds of the way. My time to get up to here. And then, past the second waterfall, cool things are coming. Really cool things that you normally never see on hikes. On the seven and a half kilometer mark here, you get really close to another set of uh, horsetail waterfalls, which these ones are actually coming directly from Crip Lake. And you can see the whole opening here of Crip Lake, which is on the top back there. And then you have uh, the waterfall. Spoiler alert, there's a little tunnel and a ladder and a steel cable that they like people to hold on to. They're holding on for dear life. So we are just shy of the eight kilometer mark here on the trail and we come across the Crip Lake campsite. There's a nice little flat area here and I think it's been shut down completely here because they put a sign here, no camping and no fires. This would have been a really pretty place to camp back when you could do that. 
and you literally have something the equivalent of the wall in Game of Thrones here. And behind us, that is crazily high, like three, four hundred meters, somewhere, like, somewhere in there. It's quite the drop. So how are the anemones? Fancy? Yes. Super fancy, right? Like every bat country bathroom. <laughs> so we get a little bathroom here. And now, take a little break and head over to the tunnel. nice little creek you can see in here. I guess you can't really see it, but you can hear it. That's flowing down another little lake that's at the bottom here. This is a full-blown ridge to get up to these little tunnels here. And that is the tunnel over there. It's pretty much single file is my guess. You don't get the chance to have 30 people go through there side by side, that's for sure. This is where you watch your footing because it's uh, not a good place to fall down. Not for the faint of heart, but we got about a foot or so wide. A foot to two feet. Some places there's three, and that's about it. And then we got this uh, crazy little ladder. It looks pretty rickety. But it looks like this ladder was assembled here. It's quite neat. Whoa. <laughs> Don't turn off the camera ever. Limited light here. We'll just, we'll just crawl here slowly. <sighs> it's a bit too narrow for my big backpack. It's all my crap in it, so. Definitely not uh, worn down there. Uh, then you come out the other side. And then you find a Heather. Hello, Heather. So let's climb down here without falling on our faces. Because falling on your face involves falling down canyons to your death, that's all. The worst thing that can happen in life is death. So, anything else that happens that's not death is good. That's the mentality you gotta have in the mountains, is my guess. Uh, there you go.
well, that wasn't sketchy at all. <laughs> but we made it across at the expense of my hand. There was a sliver on that steel cable and it sliced me pretty freaking good. But I was holding onto the cable for dear life too. So that, uh, that's one of the things. But yeah. Whew. All right, now we just gotta crisscross along the edge and let's find this lake. I have a feeling that this little creek here creates one heck of a ruckus that's filled with green algae. It's crazy. I don't know, this is very weird. I don't know if this is caused by wind erosion or water erosion, but yeah, it's very weird shapes. No camping, no fires. Welcome everybody. After two and a half hours trekking through the wilderness, we finally arrived at the infamous lake. The other end of that lake would be the 49th parallel and uh, part of the United States. So we're just slowly going around the lake here and uh, actually on the east side of the lake you get a nicer, uh, you get a nice, nice little beach here where uh, it's, it would be a good spot actually to take uh, your lunch here. We took our lunch actually on the set of rocks and behind there, uh, which was kind of a nice little spot too, but here there's more uh, sitting places here. I guess we're in Montana right now. So we are crossing here. This is where the 49th parallel crosses the park. So right here, it divides Glacier National Park with Waterton Lakes National Park. And you got great view of the lake here. And then you're basically surrounded by Crazy canyons here. I haven't seen any Americans yet over here. Just letting you know. I'm afraid of Americans. I'm afraid of the world. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is Crip Lake. And I am Eric Tremblay. And these are my adventures. And she is Heather, also follower of the adventures. <laughs>